Well, thanks, Mark. This week's edition of our food segment is about chocolate cake. We searched far and wide to find the best chocolate cake recipes for you, our viewers. But what we found is that we ended up with a bit of a conundrum. Four chocolate cakes, all claiming to be the best chocolate cake ever. But we needed to be sure. We needed a taste test. We need you to help us decide which of these four cakes is the best chocolate cake ever. I think I can handle this job. Give it a go. That's a lot of cake. <laughs> I'm going to eliminate the first and the third right away. What didn't you like about the first and the third? Um, I liked everything about them, but the other two are more moist. Do you think you could take on our own Andy Lynch in a cake eating contest? I think I could. Challenged. <laughs> After trying all four, have you come to a decision? Number two. I must say, I probably am your best choice for knowing what's the best chocolate cake because chocolate is my thing. Without icing, I would go with the last one. With icing, I would go with the first one. Do you consider that last one the best chocolate cake ever? No. <laughs> Is it better than your wife's chocolate cake? No comment. <laughs> I gotta be honest, the fourth one is my favorite, and I would put it up there with some of the best cakes I've ever had, if not the best. Can we have your prediction on uh, Andy Lynch, what he might choose as his favorite chocolate cake? Andy, I think he's gonna have to go with the third one, because I don't think he's gonna like this, this crust thing on the end here. We need to hide the cake from Andy. Andy, these are the four chocolate cakes that, nope, nope. Is there four chocolate cakes? Come on! Now we surveyed your uh, sports members in the office. Oh, each had their that? each had their individual opinion. Okay. We also asked for predictions of what would be your favorite. How well do you think the sports guys know your ta taste in chocolate cake? I would hope that they would know it very well. I'm very clear about what I like and don't like. Can you describe to us what you like in chocolate cake. You need a moist chocolate cake. You need to have good chocolate flavor. That really moist versus dry, which is why I picked that one closest to me so far because that just looks. Like it's suffocating in milk. When? When can I eat these? Very soon. <laughs> All right, I'll go get milk. Got the milk. I'm ready. <laughs> so that was our kidding, taste test you? around the <laughs> office, and we are prepared and ready for Andy and Mark to try for the first time the four chocolate yes. cakes that we have today. I've restrained myself. And, and Matt is exactly right. The crust thing? Mm. No. No? No. Mark? You can't judge a cake by its crust. It's a big part of it. Wise words. Thank so you. let's get this started. We're going to begin with this first. Now at the end, each of these have their own special ingredients that make them special. And so we're going to talk about it at the end, but right now they will not know which of these cakes have different special ingredients. So we'll begin with the first one here. Andy, Mark, Jennifer, if you will. Thank you. <laughs> this is a big piece. Can I get your reactions on this first cake? I'm still processing. Hmm. It's okay. It's okay. Not great. Milk chocolatey. It's very moist. Mm -hmm. Has a very strong chocolate taste to it, which is surprising since it's a chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to know the special ingredient in this chocolate cake? Chocolate chips. That is one of them. Very good. Well, they're crunchy. <laughs> it tastes like a chocolate chip cookie almost. Jello pudding in this chocolate cake, along huh. with the chocolate mm. chips. It's got that very chocolatey. He mentions you can taste the chips in it because it's got that pudding in the chocolate chips. You're so going to drink that entire gallon in a five-minute segment, aren't you? That's impossible, metaphorically. <laughs> metaphorically, everything is possible. <laughs> Metasmically. 
<laughs> so let's move on to the second cake now. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> this second Basically chocolate cake, if oh, you good. will. Thank you. <laughs> now, all of these recipes, of course, will be able to be found on our website. Uh, the full recipes. And there's What's actually that? a couple of different variances mm. in the way that you can make these and add a few different things, um, which you can see on the website. Light and fluffy. Mm, very good. This one should be more moist. Really good texture. Mm. There's I a will. unique flavor in there. Though. For a minute, I thought I was eating a chicken wing. See, I had cayenne pepper in there. I've never gotten that I response. I thought maybe that cake that ever. there should be salad with that particular cake. Well, this particular cake secret ingredient is coffee oh. that we've added to this. So you can see why it'd be extremely moist. I will let you in on a secret. This was the <laughs> prime selection of That's two coffee. of our You're sales right. associates. It's all right. Both Justin and Vicky that you saw in the video there chose this as the best chocolate cake ever. I thought so, that'd be my so favorite. So the sales folks wanted the coffee. coffee it, no. That's true, yes. No, Coffee's for closers. Here, you can have the big, big one. Well, I will well, eat let's that. Let's move to the third one before <laughs> we start mowing down large cakes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now this is certainly a more browner cake than yeah, the first two. <laughs> Too dry. Too dry. Yeah, it is quite dry. Mm. Chewy. I have yet to find my favorite. I almost picked up his milk. You're not able to deem any to of drink these it. the best chocolate cake not ever at all. so far? No. That is disappointing, but we do have one left. The <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the secret, me to lie? <laughs> the secret this? ingredient, hold on. The oh, secret sorry. ingredient in this one is actually apple cider vinegar or vinegar in general that you can mm. add to this recipe. And it does come out a little bit more, we've heard bland or dry, um, but vinegar being the secret ingredient. So try the fourth one. Hopefully this will be the best chocolate cake ever. ever. <laughs> Nope. No. <laughs> Sorry. You Thoughts are, on this one? You are a tough cookie or cake, cake. or something. It's very dry. Very dry. Yeah. I mean, you can almost smell the I aroma don't think it's of that this dry. cake. Kind of applesauce in it. The secret ingredient in this cake, cinnamon. And so you cinnamon. get a little bit more of that spice. Right. Um, Vicky, our sales uh, manager, actually thought it tasted like spice cake rather than I chocolate thought so too. cake. Yeah. <laughs> My wife, she makes wedding cakes. And as soon as it comes out of the oven, she'll let it cool a little bit, and then she'll put it in the freezer. And so when you get it back out to, to the thought, it is so moist and so flavorful. So my wife's is still number one. Sorry. So your wife's is the best chocolate She could have ever. submitted one, and it would have been that the best. That is true. Yeah. Anyone could submit uh, <laughs> recipes, rather, and we would try them out as the best chocolate cake I will eat ever. more, though. So. I'll have at it. All right. Mark, do you feel that you're able to deem any of these the best you've ever tasted? Not the best I've ever tasted. They're all quite good, but uh, it's chocolate cake. So everyone here, no one here is calling it the best chocolate cake ever, but That's these true. are all called the best, the best chocolate cake ever. And we want you to try for yourself. Go online, get the recipe, make it, maybe even let us know if you do try it and see if you decide it's the best chocolate cake ever. We need more test samples. I'm sure there's got to be some other variations that could perhaps be considered the best chocolate cake ever. So if you've got a, a family recipe, your own secret little twist to the chocolate cake, let us know and we'll test yeah. it out. We have more milk, so we need more cake. So. <laughs> Absolutely. And we have four weeks in February, and National Chocolate Month lasts all the way till the end of February, so we could keep sampling and sampling for weeks to come, unless you're opposed to That's that. That's probably my favorite. Yeah, I'm very opposed to eating cake. <laughs> well, well, why is the shortest month of the year National Chocolate Month? I'm sure some people don't I like will, that. I think we should probably have someone from the YMCA come in, and they'll probably explain why it should be that way. <laughs> <laughs> That's what March is for. Eat cake in February and work, work it all on off March. in March. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us today, I believe. And that does wrap it up for our edition of Faith and Friends as well. But before we go, we're going to have one final look at our scripture. Can you talk? <laughs> <laughs> the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all the people on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. He took his wife Sarah, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated, and the people they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. And just a reminder to, to think about some of the things we've discussed in today's show about courage, about uh, daring to be bold enough to follow the Lord's direction for you as uh, Abram was able to do so many years ago. Well, that's going to do it for us this week on Faith and Friends. I want to thank all of our guests.
who uh, were with us today, and we've got a lot of good stuff coming up next week as well. And we will see you next week. Don't forget, you can go to WTLW.com anytime to review the uh, segments that you saw here. Utensils. To watch Use him them. eat more we cake. Them? And we you do want to hear picks. from you. Email us. <laughs> Email us your chocolate cake recipe. That's what I really <laughs> want right. to find out. Right. Faith and do friends at WTLW.com. I'm using my toothpick. Oh, my. We better go. <laughs> this is just going to get messy. Good night, everybody. Goodbye.